Okay guys, this is Tibbetts Brook Park. If you've watched uh, my videos for a while, you know it's not my favorite place in the world, but it is the closest body of water to my house, at least the closest one that uh, has a decent um, bass population. And by decent, I mean uh, questionable. But uh, the place is packed. It's a Saturday, but it's a Saturday evening. So hopefully it kind of clears out. Um, it's interesting how my comfort levels have kind of evolved uh, since this whole uh, pandemic thing started. But, um, you know, I think we should be all right. Now, the thing about Tibbetts Brook, especially in the summer, is it gets so much vegetation that by this time in the summer, uh, we're about to see, but it, it's like there's like a carpet usually of vegetation. So really the only thing that makes sense is top water, particularly like hollow body top water frogs that have the hooks on the top. Otherwise you're just gonna come in with weeds every single time. I did bring the drop shot set up just in case we can find little pockets to send it into. But uh, yeah, so the idea is to get some top water practice tonight. And if things don't work out, uh, the way I want them to, then maybe this can be part of like a top water compilation at the end of the summer. But anyway, uh, let's let's see how this goes. I um, I was kind of lazy today. I did a lot of editing, so um, so I couldn't go too far away. Um, and uh, let's let's see, let's see, let's let's stop talking, get fishing. All right, so. As we approach this sign here, I do want to commend the fine people of Yonkers for uh, taking these things seriously. It seems like most people have masks, even though it's crowded, and they're staying apart from each other or trying to. Um, I did want to shout out my neighbor's daughter for uh, reporting and sending a picture, actually, of a bass that was caught here recently on a topwater frog so i know it's possible now i've tried before but all i've caught were were bullfrogs I, i've caught bullfrogs on topwater frogs here but not fish so uh we're gonna try this guy i don't even know it's called a popper frog on the back but i don't know if that's the brand name or what i found this i found this at swan lake in pleasantville and started using it and i've actually caught um a few fish at Harlem Mir with it before I had a YouTube channel. Might be a little light for the Corrado here, but we're about to find out. Oh. Now, the good thing I know about Tibbetts Brook, and I've talked about this before, it's very shallow, and that's also why there's all this vegetation here. Um, it's supposedly under some kind of restoration, but uh, it still looks pretty choked. Um, but that means that, you know, we have just as much of a chance catching something way out there that's, that's shallow as we do over here, because it's all kind of the same. So I'm starting out just nice and slow. Occasional twitches, reeling in a little. Remember, with top water, especially these hollow body frogs, you want to let the fish take it under. You want to be patient, give it a second or two, and then set the hook. Otherwise, you might miss your fish. We also, we got some turtles in the neighborhood that we want to be uh, mindful of. It's not really fun when you hook into a turtle. There's a fish. Got one. <laughs> Okay, tiny little Tibbetts Brook bass. All right, so we got the skunk off at least. Mm. 
Ah, damn it. I found the one nice clear spot here and I just scared up a whole bunch of ducks. There we go. That's a bit of a top water blow up somehow. All right. Ooh. All right, you deserve a gentle release after that. All right, swim off right. All right, guys, I don't know what exactly happened there. I'll check the tape, but it almost looked like there was a bit of a top water blow up somehow before he actually got himself hooked. Um, so maybe that means it's late enough that uh, the top water might be the approach now. And uh, if you remember, that was kind of the point of coming out today, so. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Ah, something blew up on it though, guys. Something blew up on it. I might have been a little too quick there. All right, I'm getting kicked out. I mean, I could probably stay a few more minutes, but save this for another day. Caught two fish. Ain't half bad. Hey guys, it's about five days later. It's Friday. Uh, what you just saw was on a Sunday. Um, I may, I'm back at Tibbetts Brook and we're gonna do more top water stuff and I made a decision. I, I feel like if you gonna, if you're gonna, if you wanna catch a fish on top water, if you wanna catch a fish on whatever like technique is, is, is the, the flavor of the month, right? You gotta commit to it. You can't have a backup plan. Of course I can catch stuff on the soft plastics, on the drop shot, but I feel like if that's always my backup and the top water's like not working or I'm getting impatient, then I'm always gonna switch to that because that's what I'm comfortable with and that's what I know I can at least catch like a tiny little fish with. Well, today it's different. I brought one rod, one reel, my bait caster, my Corrado setup, and I brought three top water frogs. Actually, one of them is a is a mouse or a rat. Um, and that's it. That's it. I didn't even bring like a tackle bag or anything. So um, we have about maybe at the most two hours before they kick me out of here. Um, at least that's what happened on Sunday. So um, we're gonna we're just gonna commit to the frog and see if we can get a fish. Um, so without further ado. Let's let's keep this ball rolling. Let's try to get a fish on top. All right. So this actually looks even, like a lot more choked than it did five days ago. And it's only gonna get worse. I can tell you that much right now. Just got the uh, the popper frog on again. Might switch it up to the, the king rat. It's a lot of turtles here, it's crazy popping up and down all over the place all right so I think I'm gonna head over to the one spot where I legitimately got hit the other night try my luck there right over kind of near where the, uh, the, the pond uh, gives way into a creek all right I'm just going to try the actual creek for a second. Sometimes bass do make it down here, as I have proven in a previous video. Tibbetts Brook, Topwater Quest, Tibbetts Topwater Quest 2020. 
I'm back several weeks since the last video I made here. Only brought one rod, one reel, and about four or five different kinds of topwater lures. But the ones with dangling hooks might have to come off pretty soon. As much as I love how this thing walks the dog, as we saw in my uh, little pike hunt, um, it's gonna get caught up in weeds. But however, I actually do see a large open area over there, which surprises me. Um, again, this is very typical of Tibbetts Brook in the middle of the summer. Most of it just looks like a carpet like a shag carpet, cute green shag carpet from the 70s. But there is some open stuff that's usually not open over there. So that's where I'm gonna go first. Be great to just get some top water going. But really I consider this my practice. Um, on days where I'm inside most of the day, even if I'm like editing a video or something, I don't feel accomplished unless I either do some serious yard work or I go fishing and uh, you can see what I've chosen today yeah this this open area here very unusual which might mean that the um, supposed uh, restoration project they're doing might be taking hold might be working I mean, it's still awful here but we might have a better chance than I thought. Alright, but we still have all the way around the vegetation clinging to the shore, so... We're only gonna have... You know, a little bit of... Retrieving opportunities. Alright, so we're gonna start with the Lunker Hunt Popper. The water looks very good for this. It's nice and calm. There's stuff seeing it, but I don't know if it's turtles or other frogs. Oh, something's coming. There we go. I don't think that was a fish though. All right guys, we're gonna kick it up a bit. This is the Strike King King Rat. This one has definitely seen better days. Uh, this is the exact same lure that I, uh, I don't think I, if I've ever fished with it on this channel, it's been minimal, but I did make a video once about how I sent a letter to Strike King about the success I had with this thing at the Harlem Mirror, and they sent me a whole, like, gift package. So that was cool. Anyway, this one's got the hook on top, so we could even bring it through this stuff theoretically. If I remember correctly, this one walks the dog pretty well, too. This one's only got one hook on top though, so they really have to swallow it to get hooked. Okay, moving right along, we've got the buzz bait. It's definitely a lure that, uh, a, a genre of lures that I have almost no, no experience with. Certainly haven't caught a fish on one. Um, gonna have to keep this guy moving so as to prevent sinkage and weed weedage. The uh, king rat was a little too messed up. I need a new one if I want it to work the right way. All right, in addition to keeping your rod tip high, I'm discovering with a buzz bait that uh, I think I would need a faster reel to really make it work the right way. Cause it, I mean, I know it wants to sink, but it, it does it so quickly, like I can't even get it up on the surface and I can only lift my rod tip so high, so. Might have to change things up here pretty soon. Best I can do is just start reeling the second it hits the water. Hold that tip nice and high, but then it's like I'll have no hook set power. Oh no. Alright, skirt's gone. Okay guys, we're gonna try the old classic, the jitterbug. Again, never caught anything on a jitterbug, never really gave it much of a chance. I think this can give us some of that like top water action that the buzz bait was, but uh, not sinking, obviously this floats. Um, but uh, you know, the treble hooks again could be a problem with the weeds. Although it wasn't as much of a problem as I thought it was gonna be with the popper. So we'll find out. 
if we can get some jitterbug magic going on here. Oh yeah, it's got a good wobble. You don't really have to do anything with this, you just reel it in. Maybe stop it every once in a while. Kind of walks the dog on its own. Look at that. Got my skirt back. Alright, well, let's give the creek a try. Couldn't wait. There's a fish. There's a fish. I got something. I got something. And it is a largemouth bass. Okay, there we go. Something on top water at Tibbetts Brook. Is that a first? I think that might be a first. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to be careful with you, sir. Oh man, look at that. We got them good. We got, I think, all three trebles of one hook and one of the other. Yeah, this dude's hooked four times. Yeah, it's a, this is a plier job for sure. <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Ah. Okay, it's a bleeder, but, I, but I'm okay. Ah. I don't know how the barb didn't just go in just now, guys. Okay, got him. Whew, got, got hooked, but there's our tiny little Tibbetts Brook bass on a jitterbug. Jitterbug bass. Whew, lucky I got my tetanus shot last year. <clears throat> There he goes. Guess we'll take a few more casts anyway. Right, that's a good cast. Plenty of them. Yep. That's another one. Come on. Come on. Oh, I don't know if he's gonna still be there, but... <sighs> don't know if we're still gonna have a fish, but... Yeah, we do. We do. Looks like the same guy. Oh. Okay. Watch, look at, look at all these weeds compared to the fish. Okay, I'm not making the same mistake with this guy, but I am gonna take an Instagram picture. All right, now we can grip you the civilized way. Okay, well, these guys aren't big, but they're making my night, I'll tell ya. I tell ya. He was strong, he was strong. Well guys, I know these are little fish, but uh, that's what I'm used to at Tibbetts Brook. They don't get huge in my experience. Um, but, you know, this is about setting goals. Catching some topwater fish at Tibbetts. Catching some topwater fish in general. Catching fish on a lure I've never caught fish on before. So, the little things other than the little bass this is this is a success as far as I'm concerned also guys it's probably a timing thing look at this right as the Sun is really going down it's when I'm getting my little bites it's probably not a coincidence Maybe the, the fish, I mean, first of all, they're probably hungrier, but also they're probably a little less wary. Can't see as well if they're, you know, hook shy or whatever. All right, bonus cast and we are out of here. All right, guys, well, I don't know what else there is to say, really. Um, I'm gonna head back home now. Uh, 
that was those two small fish um, were the result of three separate outings here over the course of the last month or so. Um, I was thinking of holding on to it and you know doing a bigger thing at the end of the summer with all this footage, but I'll probably just. Why am I telling you this? You're, you're watching it right now. Anyway, uh, yeah, feels good to just, you know, have a goal and uh, put in the work. And uh, even though it's just a couple little fish, it, it, you know, I did what I set out to do. Hey guys, it's oppressively hot. It's not even 6 a.m. And we're here for, I think, round four of Tibbet's topwater practice. I don't know where this series is going but this will be the first time that we do it in the morning, the very early morning rather than the, you know, evening. So there's that. Uh, I'm gonna start with a hollow body topwater frog, and then I think I wanna try for the first time a head and torpedo, but uh, let's get to the lake first. Okay, so um, believe it or not, I think I mentioned this the last time, like this open space, is actually good for Tibbetts Brook. Like having this much open water. Um, and the good thing about the topwater frog is I can reach the edges of the vegetation and like even at a spot like this. But you know, the, the best spot here, even when there's more vegetation, is over where it lets out into the brook. So I'm definitely gonna go over there soon, but since this is my first stop, let's see how far we can get the frog. Oh yeah. I can't imagine with stuff this thick that the fish can get too deep into here, but then again, I'm sure plenty of bass guys would tell me I'm wrong. That's all I need, bass guys telling me I'm wrong. There might be a turtle, but there is stuff busting the top. What the f*** was that? Fish? Perhaps? That's a fish. Lost it. Mmm, might be a turtle. Bubble trail. I think that was a fish though. Damn. That was our chance. All right, guys, so on that bite, I probably didn't wait long enough to set the hook. I think that was the problem. All right, guys, well, it sure is a feeling when you uh, screw up your only opportunity of the day. Um, what happened with that frog was I, once I stepped here, I spooked something. You heard me, you know, react, a big splash, right? So then I popped the frog right there and immediately, shoop, and it went under. And it felt like it was fighting like a fish. I think there's some branches under there that it kind of got under and, uh, and, he, and he shook off. And, and you know, my uh, hook set uh, was probably, I, I should have delayed it a little bit. However, if I had, he would have definitely gone under the branches and probably gotten away. Anyway, I'm going to switch things up. Here's the head and torpedo. Very classic, old-fashioned almost lure. Um, it's, got, it's a prop bait. It's got the little propeller on the back. So it's kind of whopper plopper esque um, Maybe they want more, more commotion. Because certainly the frog was a little more subtle of an approach, but... The disadvantage here is that we can't throw it into the weeds, or not without coming back with a bunch of weeds. How is this supposed to work exactly? I don't see that propeller moving. Oh, it's got to go pretty fast. Ooh, something went for it. Something went for it. There's a fish. Little guy. But on the 
torpedo. I'll be honest, guys, I wasn't even watching. Was not even watching. All right. Torpedo fish. All right. All right. Cool. Another one. Bigger one. I think. Unless I hooked him weird. No, that's a bigger one. Nice. Nice. Bigger fish. Damn, man. I just put my camera away. All right. This is a tubby, tubby bubber. Wow, okay. Too bad my lure is now stuck in my book bag. We know what happens to me with that. Well, this is at least a pound and a half. It's it's actually very, it's a, he's a fatty. Nice, nice. Best Tibbets fish of the year, maybe ever, honestly, like with the weight of it. Wow, okay. Now we're cooking. So this one, I mean, the first fish uh, went for it pretty much after it hit the water. I think the second one got some propeller action, but, um, <clears throat> but to make the propeller work, you really gotta kinda rip it. So either reel really fast or do those kind of things just like a, a sweep all right guys i think we're gonna close out the day and close out the series of tibbets topwater trials and tribulations um two fish at tibbets brook on any outing is a win and on topwater is like an extra win since that's what i've been setting out to do for four maybe five visits here um, and to anybody who struggles with topwater fishing, um, I'm right there with you guys. This summer is the first time I've actually kind of committed to like doing it and getting better at it. And my best advice to you would be, if you want to get better at topwater, if you want to catch fish on topwater, then don't give yourself any other options. Just keep doing it, be consistent, uh, even if it means not even bringing any other lures except for topwater lures with you do it because the more you do it the more you try i mean you're eventually going to catch a fish and you're and you're gonna kind of you know naturally just kind of learn how each lure works and learn the techniques that work the best and sometimes you'll get lucky and a fish will just strike it the second it hits the water so yeah um i think i have way too much footage already so this is gonna be the end of it but if you want to see me throw some more weird, you know, interesting topwater lures at Tibbetts Brook or elsewhere, let me know. We can always do a part two. So, like, subscribe, and as always, fish like there's no tomorrow. And as we roll the credits, I'm going to get a little cheeky here. Uh, I may have shown this to you before, but I've got uh, a lure here that uh, I don't think it'll work. It's top water. Stay tuned. Peace. All right, guys. It's the suicide duck. It's the suicide duck. It's a little heavy for this rod for sure, but I want to show you, we actually have some baby ducks over here and you can see how closely it matches up. I think it's actually uh, pretty, Pretty good uh, imitation. But look at these little guys. Same kind of color pattern. See? Don't worry, I 
wasn't trying to catch them. All right, suicide duck. It's another prop bait, but it's huge and heavy. It's also getting a little late. I figured I would be here from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. It's just about 8 now. So we might have missed our uh, topwater window for the old duck. 